touch in the air should be taken. He's misjudged the length. Johanna makes no mistake. That ball just bouncing on him. And Tendulkar getting it high on the bat. He was looking to break free. Pakistan have struck. India have lost their first wicket. Not be too happy with this short selection. Ball not very short. He's just come in. Playing across the line was always going to be dubious. In the end, nice easy catch for use of Johanna. India 4 for 1. Sarov Ganguly comes out to the middle. India have lost the wicket of Tendulkar. The ball then. The leg stump has gone for a walk. He's walked across the stumps. Rana Navid hits Timber. Two wickets and two balls. The captain departs without tickling the scorers. You find new ways of getting out. His leg stump uprooted. Pushing itself across towards the offside. Two wickets of two deliveries. Saurav Ganguly gone for naught. India four for two. That's for first runs for Seva. And it's a meaty strike on the onside. It's nine for two. That's edge put down. And to add insult to injury. It goes to the boundary as well. So second let off for Virendra Seva. There you go. Two boundaries in the over. He was beaten the first two balls. Beautifully put away. But my dear. Another four. But this time a very controlled shot by Seva. There you see, he goes for the big one and finds the gap. Well, in the last two overs, Varendra Sehwag was looking to hit the ball over mid-on. He didn't succeed, but this time around, changed his tactics, went through the... Only one run away from the 50. Yes, he was lucky, no doubt about it, but really played well. Alongside with the vice captain Rahul Dravid, who for me batted very sensibly for Seva at his best. What a shot! Easy, very successful in uh, one day internationals for Pakistan. Well, he's decided to take him on. This is where he's so good, Seva. He the elevation. Gets the placement. He goes for the big one. That's out of the ground. Well, that's the beauty about Barinda Savar. Once he decides to play a particular stroke, the execution is always brilliant. Look at that one. Premeditated, no doubt about it. And he goes again, this time doesn't get the elevation but finds the boundary all right. I mentioned, was looking to take off. Beautiful shot once again, that'll be four. And he gets that boundary very early in the over. There's your one risk for the over. Risky shot, it's a poor delivery down the leg side. It just helped that ball on its way for four. There it is. He's in the 90s and this is to be expected. Another biggie from Sehwag. You can talk of nothing else, Sanjay, when Sehwag is at the crease. Now take a look at this shot. There is a deep mid-wicket. There's a long on. He hasn't tried to bisect them or get a gap. He's just gone for it wholeheartedly. So, Navid Rana has come into bowl. Sehwag on 99. And he gets 100. What a stunning innings this has been. Virendra Sehwag, 100 not out. He's very happy. He knows it's an achievement. Not necessarily the bowling attack or the pace, but just battling the conditions here. It's extremely hot. And this is his seventh one-day international 100. 
Bowler. So a blistering innings from Bern the Seva finally comes to an end. It was a tired shot. It was on the cards, but he will get a standing ovation as he leaves this ground. That short break really turning out to be uh, in favor of Pakistan. Both the batsmen, they were in a momentum. And you rarely see Virendra Sehwag when he decides to hit the ball out of the ground, missing it. Well, he played a tremendous note for India when they were in trouble.